morning guys Chuck B and uh, I quit that's what I heard yesterday what were you guys thinking? Really? Thinking I was going to quit? I love this shit. Um, though I'm getting old. Er, it's beating me up a little bit. So yeah, that's what I heard uh, yesterday. At the end of the mow route. Or at the end of my, when I got home. Uh, he wasn't on the mow route yesterday. So y'all, everyone knows it's been around my channel for a little while. Got a high school kid that once school lets out, he goes on my schedule. Guys, I gotta pause this. All right, I'm back. I had to check my route real quick. I and I thought I knew where I was going, and then for some reason I had the strangest feeling that there was something new this morning, but there's not. So I get home yesterday. Uh, where was I at? Okay, so everybody knows, been watching my channel for a little while, that I have a, uh, a high school kid. He's uh, eh, just about 18 right now. But uh, when he gets out of school for the summer, he comes, works with me. And hard worker, great kid, solid set of, in or solid whatever. He, he has a lot of integrity. I really like the kid. Um, that being said, he was, uh, after we got finished last year, you know, he's like, I'm definitely coming back. I like this. I want to do this. I want to work with you. He even was to the point of wanting to talk to me about buying into the company, which I told him, you know, slow your roll, calm down. Let's work you up to where you're running your own truck. And, and then when you're running your own truck, then we can talk about future from there. But right now, let's not worry about that. So I'm like, I'll, I'll wait. If you really want to work for me, I'll wait on you. I won't hire anyone. I'll hold on for you. So the plan was, he, he had been in the mechanics uh, course at his Votech. And he had already he had just picked up his ASE, ASE certification. But he realized he didn't like being a mechanic. He had done some uh, internship stuff, you know, being the, the oil monkey. And um, he, he just realized he, he just didn't like it as much as he thought he was going to. So, okay. He came out of it, you know, I mean, he, he, he didn't pay anything for Rotec, so cool. So he comes to me, he's like, hey, next year for Rotec, I'm taking the construction course. That way I can bring a set of skills to, to the business, you know fence building, getting into rock and, or uh, retaining walls type stuff. And I'm like, hey man, if you want to do that, I'm not asking you to, I'm not telling you to. If that's something you feel would be, you would like, and you want to do that and bring that to the company, that's definitely something we can discuss. You know, when it, when it comes full-time hiring time and we get into talking about the money that he's going to make as full-time employee. So, yesterday, well, the caveat, I guess, I mean, it's not really a caveat, but anyway, I, uh, everyone knows I started following the profit first mentality of setting my accounts up, and that's, that's how I'm making business decisions, so I was even teetering on whether I should work in part-time this summer, or if I should continue building because if you know anything about profit first you set different accounts it's kind of like a bucketing system um, and you have an employee pay bucket and you're put, constantly putting money in there and then that's how you, you play your pay your employees out of that bucket and obviously you're putting in more than you're paying out and the bucket builds over time and it just helps your business become sustainable and it, I agree with the accounting system so that being said, I, I toyed with the idea of not working him or not working him as much over this summer. 
And he already knew he was only working part-time this summer anyway, because he still has one year of school left. And uh, I was going to work in even a little bit less, you know, enough to give him money, but uh, not as much as I probably would need to, just to build my bucket up for next year when he could, because I told him I would hire him full-time, uh, because once he graduates high school, he has to move out from his living situation. And uh, so anyway, we, we were on track. We've been having discussions. He comes over when I'm working on equipment or whatever, and we talk about stuff and we kick ideas off of each other and whatnot. Really good kid. So he comes over yesterday, and he's like, hey, man, he goes, I need to talk to you. Um, I'm not going to be able to work for you. He goes, I got a job offer from it's a very large uh, car dealership here in town. I mean, they're they're really large, and they're offered they offered him a job, uh, pay benefits package. They're going to send him to a GM certification uh, and a, a brand new toolbox tool set, a roller. I mean that's thousands right there just in the tool set. And it's going to be his, you know, obviously he has to, to vest in the company. I think he has, like, one year he'll be vested or whatever. But anyway, um, and he, he felt really bad, and he felt bad enough that he wanted to come over and make it a face-to-face -face conversation, And uh, which I appreciate the heck out of that. That, that. that in itself shows a ton of integrity and why I like the kid to begin with. Um, he does things the right way. A very respectful kid. So anyway, it was a big letdown to me, but you know, I, I didn't try to gear him out of it. I didn't bring up anything about him telling me how much he didn't like being a mechanic, because uh, I know what his upcoming living situation is going to be. I was like, hey man, you're crazy if you don't go for it. I was like, at least give it a try. If it doesn't work out, you know where I'm at. I was like, you know, you can come over anytime talk about stuff, whatever, you know I'm here, and uh, so anyway, so I lost my summer help before my summer help started, it is not a big deal, I mean, it, well it is, but it's not going to, it's not a game stopper, it just changes my game, but I'm the business owner, and that is my job, is to deal with the game changes. Alright guys, on to the next one, I just got to check real quick to... So now it's moving on to the next step. Uh, I gotta find. I know I, I've already done a video about how the temp agency left me hanging. That had nothing to do with my with my helper. I had um, he was still in school. That was just I was in a bind and didn't want to didn't want to work that hard and ended up having to work that hard because they let me down. They've been very apologetic and about that whole deal, but. That is what it is, I guess. That's that office manager's job is to be apologetic that they left me hanging. Uh, anyway, I uh, am going to the current plan, and I still got to tweak it. I'm going to put a uh, an employment page on my uh, on my web page. And, you know, where they can fill out an application, submit it online. I don't have time to answer the phone all the time for that. And, uh, even though I've got the answering service, and the answering service picks up that kind of... I've, I've already had a few calls to where people are just checking to see if I'm hiring. However, you know, the answering service can't deal with all the questions that I would need answered there. But I'm going to put a appointment app on my webpage. I'll probably run a little Facebook ad to uh, a little now hiring, a now hiring part-time kind of gig. Because I only want a part-timer this season at most. Um, I don't want a full-timer this season. I'm still putting, still getting things in play that I want to have in play and situated like my profit first stuff and uh, a lot of that to make things run smoother next year. So that's the plan anyway. 
and now I'm at my next lawn. I've got a pretty good route on Thursdays. There's one big gap, but uh, anyway, let's get this lawn uh, mowed and furted and sprayed if I have to do any spraying, and uh, let's rock and roll. All right, guys, I'm off of that one. Pretty easy furt, only a cup, a little freaking uh, uh, a couple little uh, clover areas to spray. Other than that, it was just a, a furt job. Pretty big property. I mean, I put out like a hundred pounds of product out on this one, granular. Um, like I said, it's it's large. It's a large one. I took a little snapshot. I'll put it up somewhere over here, part of the backyard, but the front yard's just about as big as what's in the photo. So anyway, guys, oh my god, where is all this freaking, there's construction down on the street that I need, and it is creating a big old line of traffic coming at me. I just want to talk about my, you know, the help that I had planned on is no longer going to be with me. And some of the ways I'm going to uh, look at recovering from that. I mean, so the phone is telling me that it's time to uh, move on, stop recording, and get to work. So that's a little bit what's going on with me with some little, some employee issues, I guess. And uh, which is the biggest thing, I guess, with being a uh, an owner is what you're going to have to figure out is the employee issues. So anyway, guys. Have a great week, and I am out of here.